GCK King's Circle with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui. Hello, it is another amazing time at the GCK King's Circle. I am Esther Dada. It is my pleasure to be your host for today. My co-host on this episode is Isaac Babatope. At the GCK King's Circle, kings, queens, princes and princesses are nested, nurtured and knitted for royalty. Ever wondered how the mind works? It is intriguing to see a young person create an empire with the power of imagination. Interestingly, the same tool used to build an empire has killed some dreams, the tool of imagination. The convener of the GCK King's Circle. Dr. William Kamui, our minister on GCK Daily, is a man prominent for his strong stand for integrity and truth. He is the convener of the Global Crusade with Kamui, GCK, an international gospel outreach with a mission to spread the goodness of God through Christ for all. This mission has grown to reach millions across the globe. A former university don and renowned mathematician, Kamui's deep insight into God's word and passion for souls comes from a place of humility and strong desire to exalt Christ, leading souls to salvation and liberty. Please welcome this humble, honest and holiness-inspired gospel evangelist, Dr. W.F. Kumui will elucidate on this on today's episode. But before it comes up, let's listen to this inspiring music ministration by a renowned gospel artist. There's a reason why the curse of sin is broken. There's a reason why the darkness runs from light. There's a reason why we stand here now forgiven. Jesus is alive. There's a reason why we are not overtaken There's a reason why we sing on through the night There's a reason why our hope remains eternal Jesus is alive That was a soul-lifting ministration There's something about courage The courage to build that beauty of a life you envision you see, irrespective of how big you dream, if you do not brace yourself to walk the talk, you will just be like a noisy symbol. In life, people expect the activation of God's blessing without the courage to walk in His plan for their lives. Dr. W.F. Kumui shares more on how we can courageously navigate life's others and achieve our desired dreams. Take a listen. There is one word that's very important, is the word go. You see, a lot of things happen that people don't know how to go. When they don't go, they cop out. I will show you how to go in every situation. Starting with the story of the people that God raised up and he wanted the least of them boys, girls, men, women, to have an impact. Impact in the home, impact in the community, impact in all the nations of the world. He sent spies to the land of promise. Go and look for the fruit. Look at how the way is and what is there. And they came back. Only two people could cope, Joshua and Caleb, and the rest ten copped out. And because of the copping out, they couldn't go beyond the wilderness. Only the people that cope understand it is not what you see that stops you. It's what you think that you see stops you. It's not what you see, it's your imagination. It's your thinking. You have what you say. We cannot that's your confession. You have what you say. Action. There are times when this is the time to take action. 
This is the time to rise up. This is the time to move on. If you miss that time, you might wait another year. Who knows? Another decade. Who knows? Another 40 years. We always think the other person is great, but I'm little. We always think uh, the other person will sit there. He is the one, he is the big man, he is the great man, he is the uh, accomplisher, but I cannot. We always lift up other people above who they are, and then we put down ourselves sales beyond measure come up that's not uh, humility that one is just an evil report about what god has said about you you see somebody solving a great problem mathematical problem and you say i cannot how do you know you see somebody performing an operation and they say that operation it had never been performed before and you're still a medical student you say i cannot how do you know you read a very good book and that good book book is selling and it's having uh, millions of copies selling and it says the best seller by the people that look at books that are written you say i cannot write a book how do you know and then you see somebody who has the same goal you have and he has achieved in such a time you say i cannot how do you know their language limited them their thoughts limited them. Their mindset limited them. The impossibility in their brain, imagination, what they thought that limited them will be not able to go up against the people. Look, there are some trees that appear big and strong, but they are hollow on the inside. And they are not as strong as that other tree. You look at a person and this, uh, you know, sometimes a man is a bully or a fellow is a bully. is actually empty inside, but he can shout. And then you say that to put up everyone and you think they are stronger than you are. God has given you all the strength you need to live the life he called you to live. I can do what he says I can do. As I look at myself, if Moses was able to do what he called him to do, I can do what God has called me to do. Don't say you cannot. Maybe yesterday you could not. Maybe this moment you cannot. I can. I will. I must. Where are you? You have said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. A new life is set before you. A new way is set before you. A new path is set before you. And that habit of copping out, that habit of dropping out, that habit of being always tired to move on, the Lord wants to cancel it now. And you're giving yourself fully, surrendering yourself fully, wholeheartedly unto the Lord. Everything you have ordained, everything you have planned, everything you have promised, everything you have prophesied, that each one will be, will be there. If giving themselves unto you, receive, accept them in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Start your day in positive affirmation of who God says you are. God will not leave you empty of the manifestation of His promise. Be courageous. Creation awaits your manifestation. It takes two to tangle. God has promised, play your part. Play your part. Be the dream. Be royal. We believe that you've been impacted. Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui would love to hear from you. Please visit our social media platforms and don't forget to join us on the next episode of GCK 